How's it going, people? I've been pretty busy lately. This is this is the back bedroom of my new house. Um, maybe I'll take my new camera and show you the, my give you a tour. Not much to see. I haven't decided where everything goes yet. Mostly, I've been bringing things over and setting them down. And I got about an acre and. I've been trying to clear out the poison oak, and it got me. <laughs> I'm getting over it. It was worse before. So, I think this has been a special occasion. I have myself a little single malt. <sighs> and I got something in the mail yesterday. It's ironic. Because, see, I was able to buy this house because I've been living frugally. And, um, I got a love letter from my friends at Scientology, who probably think I should have given all that money I spent on this house to them, to become clear. But, I'm clear enough. I wonder if they're clear. Ah. Pure delight. All right. Like I said, I haven't decided where the man cave goes. I'm just putting everything around, so none of this is permanent. Um, but more videos to come from here as I settle into things. I'm back and forth between Forbes Town and Sacramento. And um, I still got an apartment in town. I just come up here on weekends. Anyhow, let's see. Well, <laughs> most of that was Scientology, self, life improvement courses, which they keep sending me, because they really think I need to go to one of these, or all of them. Prices not included, but they will fix your life for you. All right, and I have a bit of correspondence with a, oh, this came from Craig. Craig is the guy who did my stress test. He owns an, uh, a um, some kind of a rug shop, he told me. You know, imported rugs and stuff. Nice guy. Um, and he... Handwriting's not so great, though. Anyhow. Another letter from him. He's really concerned about me, and uh, he keeps asking me and over and over again, because I, I bought a DVD and a book, because they're very persuasive. And they want to know, <laughs> am I going to hop on the bridge? <sighs> Hi, Richard. I hope this letter finds you well. I wonder if he Xerox the last letter. <sighs> what did you like about the Problems of Work DVD? Um, what did I like about it? It had a little bit of useful advice, but most of it I intuited on my own. It was pretty obvious stuff. You know, I understand some of that stuff already. I've read Norman Vincent Peale and all that. And, um... I'll tell you what I didn't like about it. I didn't like the fact that I found it for 25 cents at the Goodwill. I mean, I saw it there. Matter of fact, they had three or four copies of it. <laughs> and I bought it for like 25 bucks. But you guys are persuasive. Have you visited us here at the Mission since your purchase? No, maybe I should go there. What do you think? Take my camera. I, they look lonely over there. 
I drive by and um, they're just sitting there, and I don't see many people going in. They got a bus. They got their own bus benches out front with Scientology all over it. People sit on those bus benches and they get on the bus and they go where they're going. Sometimes they're reading the Bible. I've seen Jehovah Witnesses sitting on them. <laughs> I don't see a lot of people going in to the big uh, ideal org that they opened up and had all the big uh, uh, hoopla over and hip hip hurrah and they closed the streets off and now it's... Most of the blinds are shut and it, there's just some people sitting back there. And later on when the lights, you know, when when it gets dark, most of those windows are dark. They just not working out so well for them, I think. Write me or call to reply. Craig. Well, Craig, that was, uh, you could have put that on a fortune cookie slip. I was expecting a little more from you, Craig. I mean, do you really want me that bad? Because try a little harder. I don't know, folks. What do you think? I've had a few thoughts on this. Um, I was thinking, since they've been waiting a couple of years, maybe three, I forget how long it's been, and they keep sending me these love letters and life improvement courses. Um, what do you think? Um, should I write Craig back? He doesn't have my phone number. I gave him my old landline, <laughs> which I don't use anymore. It's disconnected. They do have my mailing address to my apartment. They don't have this one. Um, should I write them? Should I write to Craig? Should I tell him, you know, to fuck off? Should I tell him, thanks but no thanks? Should I tell him that I joined the Moonies? Or, I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Maybe I could tell him that I found my answers in Transcendental Meditation. What do you think? Or, that, you know, once you go Prozac, you never go back. I don't know, what do you think? Anyhow, I just wanted to show off my place, and maybe I'll even uh, take my camera around and give you guys a little quick tour. Nothing to see, really. I, it's just, I've been moving stuff over and dropping it off, mostly. You know, and got an air mattress on the floor in the other room. And it's a nice house, though. And it's paid for. No thanks to Scientology. I think I, I'm clear on that. Anyhow, um, let me know if you have any ideas about how I should respond. I mean, should I should I reel them in a little more? Or should I just keep letting them chew on silence? Um, should I tell them the truth or play with them? I mean, this is getting pretty boring. I don't mind them sending me mail. I really don't. Some people are annoyed by that. I, I mean, they send my mom mail and she doesn't even know why. And they want her to be an auditor. They just want me to be a drone. <sighs> Maybe a Sea Org uh, deck swabber. But um, I don't know. What do you think? Any ideas? Something that might make some interesting videos? Is there a way I can maybe kick the beehive a little more? Stay tuned. Share those ideas. I'm receptive. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. I'm having poison oak, but it's getting better. Bye.